assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to talk about the sag of the conductor between the towers of having different height suppose we have two different towers which are not actually at the same height but they are in some hilly area and for this particular case we have two different sags one when we are looking from tower A and one when we are looking from tower B. So for the tower A we have sag S1 and for tower B we have sag S2. And the difference of levels between the two towers it is represented by H. And if you have to find the lowest point of the conductor from tower A it is at distance X1 and for from tower B it is at distance X2. In this, in this case as well again W is the weight, X1 is the distance of tower A from the lowest point of the conductor and X2 is the distance from tower B to the lowest point of the conductor. So now what we want to calculate again, we want to calculate the sag values and I have already derived the formulas for the sag S1 and S2. So it was the generic formula where W is the weight, X1, X is actually the distance from the lowest point of the conductor till the spot T is the tension. So I have written the generic formulas for both the sags, one from the tower A and the other one from the tower B. So now we have the two formulas, right? For the sag calculation equation one and equation two. But we don't know the value of X1 and X2, right? So this is the final formulas that we will be deriving. So we have to find x1 and x2 so if we have to find it i will start from subtracting s1 from s2 and we know the formulas it is x1 square over 2t minus x2 sorry this is 2 this is 1 over 2t square right and if i will take omega over 2t common so this will become x2 square minus x1 square. This is a square minus b square. So it will become omega over 2t into x2 minus x1 into x2 plus x1. Right? So now if you look at the figure, we know that s2 minus s1 is actually equal to h. Right? This is s2 and this value is S1. So if I have to calculate H, so I just have to subtract S1 from S2. And X1 and X2 both will comprise the total span of the conductor, right? So X1 plus X2 is equal to L. So from these two equations, I can write H is equal to omega over 2T. This is L into X2 minus X1, right? And from this equation, I will calculate the value of X1. So it will become X2 minus X1 is equal to 2TH over omega L and X1 is equal to X2 minus 2 t h over omega l right and from this equation we know that x2 is equal to l minus x1 so i will put this one in the equation of x1 so x1 is equal to l minus x1 minus 2 th over w l And after solving it will become 2x1 is equal to L minus 2th over WL and x1 is equal to L by 2 minus th over WL. So this is the value of x1. And what was x1? x1 is the distance from the lowest point of the conductor till the support point or the point at the tower where the conductor is attached so now we can calculate the s1 value which is the sag 
seen from the tower A, we already know the weight of weight per unit length. Now we know x1 as well. We also know the tension value, so we can calculate s1. Similarly, we can also calculate x2. Now for x2 value, again we have to do the same procedure and we can calculate the x2 value equal to L by 2 plus th over w l. So what we have done, we have started from the gen generic equation of the SAG that was calculated in the previous derivation. In this part, using that formula, we have uh, defined two different SAGs, one from the tower A and the other one from the tower B. And in that particular uh, formula, we don't know the distance of the lowest point of the conductor from the individual towers. So first we have to calculate the distances x1 and x2. And for that, we have subtracted the uh, SAG S1 from S2. And by putting the values of H and L, where H is the difference between the values of S2 and S1, and L is the span of the conductor, then we calculated X1 and X2. And from there, we can easily calculate the SAG values.